Well, it's Mickey Mick time. Mick Mick. Hey, Mick Mick. Good boy. Mm. <laughs> oh, little rabble rouser this morning. He is energetic today. So, uh, Ronaldo is on his way over, so we may have a, um interruption here. Papas interrupt us. Yeah, we may have that. Hey, no chewing on the fingers. We don't chew fingers. He says, we don't, but I do. He said, I will chew fingers. Oh, you just troublemaker. Oh, little Max. Oh, little Max. You're a good boy. Here, chew this. There, There's Ronald. Now, we're, we're going to have... Um, <clears throat> we're going to see how he does with Ronald. Okay, continuing on. So, Ronaldo came in. Oh, Mick, Mick, now settle down. Settle down. Settle down. You're okay. Ronaldo came in, and Mickey sat right next to me, and he's, arr, arr. he's giving his little growls. I'm like, you know, so he's trying to be protective. No, you can't get down there and go chase him. No. So he's out in the backyard, fixing the backyard up and stuff. And uh, Mickey is getting used to, so I want to really start to socialize him to be around people because I don't want him to be aggressive, you know, protecting you in that aggressive because the uh, Yorkie part of them can be aggressive. Um, so I'm glad that Ronald's here for the next few days and he'll come over and... Uh, you know, work with Mickey a bit too. I want him to get used to him. So first thing I had him do, because Mickey's sitting there kind of growling and looking and just not not sure of this, um, I had him give Mickey a little treat and Mickey did go over. And so he petted him a little bit. And then Mickey wants to play. He's, he's, you know, sitting down, wagging his tail, barking at him, wanting him to play chase. Um, but we're not, I don't want him to be, you are such a monkey. Settle down. Mm. Yeah, you're a good boy. So anyway, um, he's, he's uh, out there watching Ronaldo working in the backyard. And... Um, Thank God that tree is gone, and I'm not going to have any more of that stuff going uh, because that tree was just horrendous. There's pine needles everywhere and pine cones and bird poop and, you know, all that stuff, and I don't want Mick Mick out there in all that stuff. He thinks he wants to try to eat the pine needles. I said, no, you can't eat the pine needles, okay? So once that yard is all cleaned up, he can go out. Now today, of course, it's the hottest day we've had this year, and he comes to work in the yard, and it's going to be 110. So I said, <laughs> you know, get out there and do that early <laughs> before it gets too hot. Um, so if it gets too hot, take a break and then come in the morning early and, and finish it up. But, um, yeah, Mr. Mickey... The first thing he did was to sit next to me and growl. Arr. It was a cute little growl, but it was a growl nonetheless, and we're not going to have that. Um, so anyway, I really want to work on socializing him, so I'm glad that Ronaldo's going to be around for a couple of days so that I can get Mickey used to being around other people and find out they're not threatening and it's okay. So um, double duty while he's here. So uh, yeah, he's, he comes over three, four times a year and does the yard work and stuff for me and then takes care of, I have a light that's out in the kitchen and these are like 12 foot ceilings. <laughs> I can't get up there to do that. So he, he comes in and changes the lights for me and does all that stuff. Okay, you want to get down, Mr. Mick Mick? He is just, I think he, we'll see what he does. I think he's going to go over by that door and try to look and see what he's doing. We'll see.
Yep. That's where he's headed. He wants to, because the back door has plexiglass so he can see out there. So he wants to watch and see what Ronald's doing out in that backyard. He is on the alert. So we'll see what happens with that. But he is protective. That I can tell you that much already. He's showing a protective nature. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully... When he hears somebody around outside, he will bark and let me know, alert that people are there. Hello, Mick Mick. Well, what's he doing out there, Mickey? Hmm. What's he doing out there, Mick Mick? A <laughs> troublemaker. So anyway, that's what's going on with Mickey today and, uh, over get a drink of water, Mr. Fluffy Butt, <laughs> alias, Mickey Mick Mick alias Fluffy Butt. <laughs> so today I weighed him, and um, he's three months old today, and so his weight today was 4.8 pounds, so he gained four ounces um, in this week. And I did the weight estimate, and it says 9.9 .9 pounds, that he should be full-grown 9.9 .9 pounds, as what is saying now with the weight he is today at three months. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll continue to weigh him, um, and we'll see what he is. It'll be interesting next month. To, to see where he's at. There goes a the little fluffy butt. He's... <laughs> yeah, he's going to check that back door again. So he's keeping an eye on Ronaldo and, and just, uh, yeah. He says, I'm watching him, Mom. I'm over here. I'm watching him. <laughs> oh, my God. But I have to admit, that little growl was cute, but it's not something I want to uh, have him doing. I don't want him growling at new people. That's, you know, so I've got to really start working with him on socializing immediately. I'm just waiting until he has the rest of his shots, and then I can go around more people with him and introduce him to people and other things um, as well. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mick Mick? You going to play? You going to play with your toy? Yeah, shake him up. That's it. Shake him up. Get that toy. <laughs> so anyway, that's what's happening with uh, Mick Mick today. Talk to you later. See you online.